problem we are provided with a simply supported beam of a span 24 meter and a train of five wheel loads wheel load means it can move in either direction so uh, a five a train of five wheel loads is provided and which moves from left to right in the given beam and we have to find the maximum positive and negative shear force and uh, absolute bending moment at the center of the beam so the center of beam at c consider and it be 12 meter half of 24 is 12 so we have to find uh, maximum shear force uh, both positive and negative at c and absolute bending moment in the beam so these are the two things i have to find for this question uh, so now starting with this uh, the very first step is to find maximum shear force to determine maximum shear force at C that is center of the beam first negative shear force and positive shear force the figure of ILD for shear force it will be enough but before that we have to know due to which load maximum shear force can occur so for this one thing you have to know let me draw the ILD for shear force at C so this is the ILD for shear force ILD for shear force at any point given okay so the magnitude of this uh, triangle will be A by L and this triangle will be B by L where A being this distance okay and this remaining portion B and L being the total span so this is negative this is positive so for maximum negative shear force all the loading provided should be in this region okay for maximum bending moment and for maximum so for maximum shear stress and for maximum positive shear stress all the loading should be at this portion so the length of this portion is 12 meter and the total length of the train of loading is 10 meter so it suggests that all the portion or all the load will be acting in this portion so if 120 kilonewton goes ahead of or goes ahead in the positive portion the shear force will not be maximum for maximum shear force all the point load should be in the negative region okay so uh, for maximum condition this is for negative shear force 120 kilonewton moving ahead okay in two hours from left to right so it should act at this distance or at this particular point another we have five so five sets of load okay five sets of load this being 80 kilonewton this being 80 this being 200 180 and 120 will be acting in this way in this negative portion so using the property of similar triangle we can find this 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 and this with help of this a by l so a is 12 meter l being 24 so we get 0 0.5 naming this as y1 y2 y3 and y4 this being y0 so y0 is equal to a by l that is 0 0.5 okay for determining y4 okay starting with y1 then y1 is equal to this portion that is 0 0.5 similar triangle okay divided by this so it will be the span that is 12 meter and y1 divided by the length of this portion that is 10 meter minus 12 so it will be 2 
finally we can get y1 is equal to 4 or 2 into 0 0.5 1 1 by 12 okay y1 is equal to 1 by 12 similarly y2 is equal to 0 0.5 by 12 multiply by this distance so this distance is 12 minus 8 4 meter so 4 that will give me y2 is equal to 0.5 multiplied by 4 divided by 12 0 0.167 and 1 by 12 0 0.083 similarly we can calculate y3 0 0.5 by 12 into this portion that will be uh, 12 minus 5 that is 8 12 minus 5 that is 7 so 0 0.5 divided by 12 into 7 0 0.291 okay so let me check again 0 0.5 into 7 so this portion at this y3 3 minus 5 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 12 7 okay so it will be 7 it is okay y4 is equal to 0 0.5 by 12 multiply by the remaining distance that is 12 minus 3 that is 9 we get 9 by 12 multiplied by 0.5 so we get 0 0.375 okay so with this value now maximum negative shear force is equal to point load so we'll multiply with the magnitude of y1 y2 y3 for respective point load so for 80 we have to multiply with y1 and the value of y1 is equal to 0 0.083 plus 80 multiply by y2 that is 0 0.167 plus 200 multiply by y3 that is 0 0.291 plus y4 180 multiply by 0 0.375 plus y naught that is for y20 y naught uh, 120 multiply by 0 0.5 we do not consider this portion for this 120 because we are calculating the maximum negative shear force so this being a positive portion we will not consider this and we'll just take into account of this portion y naught only so 120 into 0 0.5 now calculating 80 multiply by 0 0.083 plus 80 into 0.167 plus 200 into 0 0.291 plus 180 into 0 0.375 plus 120 into 0 0.5 so 205.7 205.7 kilonewton this is the maximum negative shear force now for the positive shear force okay positive shear force the only difference is the loading will be at the positive portion so again the shear force diagram that is ild for sf is same okay this a b and c but in this case the tail of the loading okay the tail of the loading will be at this point because for maximum positive shear force all the given loading should be in the positive portion so this 80 kN being the tail 80 200 180 and 120 okay so again the same process we have to determine the height of the respective triangle uh, naming this as y0 y1 y2 y3 and y4 so 
y not for 80 okay and y not is equal to we have already written at this figure b by l and b is 12 length l being 24 it will be 0 0.5 y1 is equal to 0 0.5 divided by the span i'm taking consideration of this triangle okay the bigger one and then this triangle so being a similar triangle 0 0.5 divided by the span that is 12 multiply by the span of this length of this triangle y1 we get uh 12 minus 3 uh 12 minus 2 that is 10 so 0.5 divided by 12 into 10 0 0.4167 so 0 0.5 by 12 multiply by this portion so this being as 2 plus 3 5 and 12 minus 5 7 so it will be 0 0.291 y3 0 0.5 by 12 multiply by subtraction 2 then 5 okay 5 5 by 12 multiply by 0 0.5 0 0.2083 y4 is equal to y4 0 0.5 divided by 12 okay and this portion being as 4 meter sorry 2 meter uh, into 2 I get 0 0.083 so with all this value maximum positive shear force can be calculated as earlier process so 80 multiply by y naught that is 0 0.5 plus 80 multiply by y1 that is 0 0.4167 plus y2 that is 200 multiply by 0 0.291 plus this wing y3 that is 180 multiply by 0 0.2083 plus y4 uh, 120 multiply by 0 0.0833 is equal to on calculating this I get 179.026 179.026 kilonewton which is the maximum positive shear force so the first agenda of this question is solved that is maximum shear force I both positive and negative at C so this negative and this positive it is done